So first we're going to start off with one chopped up red bell pepper, one chopped up orange bell pepper, one fourth of a cup of chopped basil, one fourth of a cup of chopped parsley, two thirds of a cup of vegan organic coconut milk, four tablespoons of jerk powder, one fully chopped green pepper, one fully chopped yellow pepper, one medium chopped onion, one medium chopped tomato, one cup of scallion, a bunch of thyme, and one fourth of a cup of shallots. Then you want to get a pot and fill it with about two tablespoons of olive oil or oil of your choice. You want to get your onions, your scallions, your shallots, and your bunch of thyme in there and give that a good stir. Cook your onions down before adding other vegetables. Next step, let's get those tomatoes in there. And give that a nice little stir. Then we're going to add our yellow pepper and green pepper. It really doesn't matter what peppers you add first. Those are just the ones I grabbed first. Then we're going to grab our red pepper and our orange pepper. And we're going to give that a good stir. Now depending on how you like your peppers is how you cook them down. I like them to be soft and have like this nice little sauce with them. So I cook mine down and put the cover on and let them steam for about five minutes. Now when they re reach your, almost to your desired softness, that's when you want to start adding your seasoning in there because they're going to steam again once you add the seasoning. So you want to get your jerk powder or your jerk sauce or whatever kind of jerk seasoning you're using, you want to get that in there and you want to evenly distribute it. Right here we're building our base, so we want that's why we keep stirring every time we add something. Then you're going to add your parsley, and again, we're building our base, so we want to make sure everything is evenly coated, so that's why we keep stirring. Then last but not least, you're going to add your basil in there and build, build, build your base. Okay, so I let that steam for about two minutes. Here is where you want to load down your heat a little bit because your vegetables are fully cooked. You're going to add your cheese. Now, I have Trader Joe's mozzarella cheese and I have Daya cheddar cheese. Now, here's a little trick I learned to thicken up my rasta pasta. From This is from Caribbean Sensation. So you want to take about one fourth of a cup of sea moss and you want to soak it for 12 hours and then boil it. I boiled mine for about uh, roughly an hour on low heat and you want to blend that up with your coconut milk. This is going to give you this kind of consistency so that your rasta pasta is going to be thick and creamy. So we want to give that a nice little stir. This cheese and this coconut milk with the sea moss is our last step to our base. So you want to make sure you're really melting the cheese down and really evenly distributing everything before you add your pasta. Here I also added a little dash of sea salt and a little dash of pepper. Use salt and pepper to taste. So once you've reached your desired consistency with the sauce, you want to add your pasta. I boiled about two packages of risoni pasta, and I go ahead and put that in there. Now this is the hard part because you're going to really get some strength in your arms <laughs> from stirring this sauce onto your pasta. 
You want to make sure everything is evenly coated and evenly distributed. So we're going to keep stirring, stirring, stirring. And another thing I didn't mention before is when you stir, when you boil your pasta, you want to boil it until firm, not till it's mushy. And that's a wrap. Look at that. It looks so good. And trust me, it tasted too. Now, if you guys try this recipe, I want you guys to hashtag me at Unconditioned Vegan so I can see how all of them came out. And if you're interested in this fried cauliflower right here, I also have a recipe on this. I'll put the link up above. And I just really thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.